Hello. In this exercise, we will learn about how to configure network file system on Relate. We will also do auto mount as well as auto file system Relate. Okay, so let us start with configuring the NFS server on server A as well as NFS client and we will try to mount on server B. Okay, let us quickly start. The first step involves in uh, installing the utilities. We have install NFS hyphen utils asterisk and uh, libraries NFS asterisk. Okay, here it says this is already installed. That's fine. So now I will create two directories. One is share one and then we are share two. I will use this uh, share one for read only and share two for read write. Okay. So let us also start the services system CTL enable uh, NFS hyphen server dot service. Okay, it's enabled. Similarly, start the service. Start NFS hyphen server. So the second task is done. The firewall rules con configuration. Firewall hyphen CMD add service equal to NFS and permanent. Okay, success. Similarly, we have to add more services. Add service equal to RPC hyphen bind. Okay, hyphen hyphen permanent. Firewall CMD add service on the hyphen hyphen permanent. Please remember add all these exceptions, otherwise it won't work. Firewall hyphen CMD, I mean hyphen hyphen reload. So this should return with success. And uh, later you can verify install whether all these services are enabled or not. You can see all this NFS, RPC bind and uh, of course mount D. All these three services are enabled. Now uh, we have to write the script in uh, VITC exports. Export. By default it is a 0 byte file. Now I am going to write sorry slash share 1 I'll make it as if I want I can make client IP otherwise I can say asterisk for global so read only sorry read only I'll make this as read only and say slash share to rewrite and I can say sync okay this is done so after writing the script now you restart the service Start and this hyphen. So, yes, yeah, successful. Finally, you can verify on the server whether uh, to display what all the mounts. For this, we have a command called show mount hyphen e. Yeah, this way. Okay, so share one and share two has been successfully exported. So, we have completed the first part, and now we should uh, log into the server B and try to mount SSH root at the rate of. I mean server B. So I'm giving the password. So this is server B. You can see the IP address of server A is uh, I can say ping server A is 23. Show mount hyphen E. I mean you can say server A. It is showing means that the export list is unable to reach the client. So what we can do here, if you want to do a simple mount, NKDR share one, NKDR share to create a shares mount a colon slash share one. You can say share one. Yes, it is mounted. Mount server a colon slash share two on share two. Share one is read only and share two is uh, read write. You can trust that. If you see here, the file system is mounted. So let me try 
creating some files in share one so it cannot create or you can say touch abc so it is a read only file system okay so similarly i can do on share two here the same thing touch abcd yes i think uh, we forgot to give the permissions what i will do is i'll quickly chmod 777 share 2 ssh root and rate of so b so now you can see already share 2 is mounted so cd share 2 so touch abcdf Okay, so we have completed doing this uh, auto mount. Now we will doing auto file system. So I am dismounting again. You mount share one. You mount share two. Sorry. You mount share two. So there are some specific advantages if you do this auto file system. There is, uh, I mean, you can see uh, nothing is mounted. But when uh, the first stage of uh, configuring this auto fs is yum install auto fs asterisk hyphen y. So in the remember we are doing on the client system. So this is done auto fs file system. Yeah. Now vi you can see configure in auto master. So there is already a default one. Uh, somewhere here you can write and this is there I am inserting a line here I will mnt slash etc auto dot txt so we save this one auto master the next step is we need to define auto dot txt file which we have defined in auto master so here write this share once and share two this say share one can say read only sync the server IP is 192.168.1.23 colon slash share one. This is the mount point. Okay. Share two hyphen read write sync server IP is 192.168.1.23 share two. These are the mount points. Fine. We have cleared. Remember, the server IP is 23 that you need to confirm properly. System CTL restart the service. Start auto fs dot service. Done. System CTL enable. This is for making it a start. Service. Okay, done. Mount hyphen A. So here also you are not able to see anything. Now, cd mnt and share 2. So here, when you touch this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yes, it's able to do. So if you see now, when you start touching, this file system is available. Okay, this is a read write file system. Let me try with share 1. Here you are able to, but when I say touch, one, two, three. It's a read only file system. So hence you have verified this one. Suppose if you want to write in the CFS tab, you can write the same thing. Please make sure this FS tab entries will make you permanent even after reboot. So how do you write this one? 192. Once this is the server IP 1.23 colon share one mnt share one nfs defaults. I mean zero comma zero. Same thing, 192, 1, missed out, 1.23, share 2, slash mnt, share 2, nfs, defaults, 0, 0. If you say mount hyphen a, it should return without any errors. So, this is the final step. Thank you. Bye.